This is breaking news. Kim Kardashian, the copycat. Reality star looks just like Kenny West's new wife, Bianca Sensori, with bleached hair, no bra, and skimpy apron top. Kim Kardashian looked as if she had taken a page from the style book of her ex husband, Kenny West's current wife, Bianca Sensori, during an outing in Los Angeles on Sunday. The 43 year old reality TV icon was draped in a backless black ensemble from her go to fashion house Balenciaga while stepping out in the city's Woodland Hills neighborhood. But the Kardashian star's look was striking similar to an outfit Bianca wore nearly a year ago in June of 2023 down to her platinum dyed locks. Kim, who debuted her new ice blonde hair at the Homeboy Industries, Low Maximo Awards on Saturday, flashed some side boot and posterior in the daring ensemble. The quirky look featured shoe leggings and a backless halter top, which hung loosely around her torso and was reminiscent of a drooping barber's cape. As she walked toward her car, she used her arm to tamp down the front of her top to prevent an unfortunately timed breeze from exposing her. Kim's makeup looked camera-ready with a muted mauve lip. The skin's founder protected her eyes in the bright California sun with a bug-eyed pair of dark sunglasses. Her top was looser and long but similarly designed to Bianca's earlier beige top, which was tighter on her curvy figure and was tied around her torso with black strings. She wore leggings like Kim to emphasize her trim figure, but she favored a gray-blue set over Kim's black leggings. Unlike the billionaire's built-in stilettos, Bianca opted for a strikingly angular set of silver glittering mule heels with long pointy toes and more modest heels. Kim's formerly raven locks were styled back in a small one, while Bianca's own dyed hair was arranged in a chick pixie cut. Bianca was pictured in Santa Monica last year when she dined at the Lobster in Santa Monica with Kenny. Kim recently returned from Washington, D.C., where she met with Vice President Kamala Harris on April 25 to discuss criminal justice reform. President Joe Biden recently offered clemency to 16 people in prison for nonviolent drug crimes and four of those newly released inmates were in attendance. The Biden administration declared April a second chance month and the VP offered her thanks for Kardashian's advocacy and for using your platform in a way that has really lifted up the importance of talking about and being dedicated to second chances. I'm so honored to be here to continue this fight, to learn more every day, every visit, every administration, the apprentice attorney said. I'm just here to help and spread the word. Kardashian has worked in a bipartisan effort to help people who have been behind bars for decades due to strict drug laws. Biden said he granted the pardons because they were serving sentences longer than they would have received under current law, policy, and practice. In 2018, the advocate met with former President Donald Trump to ask for a commuted sentence for Alice Marie Johnson. Johnson had served 21 years for a nonviolent drug offense before her sentence was commuted. Four previously pardoned people were at the meeting and they shared their experiences about founding new businesses or nonprofits or volunteering in their communities since their release. Every time I've gone and visited a prison, I've met some of the smartest individuals with the brightest ideas, Kardashian said, and to see the changes that are happening to make their reentry easier, I think is going to be life-changing and give so many people hope.